Have you ever heard of the queen of software? Let's talk about this woman right here. Hi, my name is Masha, I'm the Coding Blonde, and today I want to tell you the story of a woman whose list of achievements is endless. Grace Hopper, or Amazing Grace, was a United States Navy Rear Admiral, an outstanding mathematician, and a pioneering computer scientist. She popularized the term computer bug, and is also known as the queen of software for creating the first machine-independent programming language. Here is the story of this inspirational woman. A little bit of context. Originally Grace Brewster Murray, she was born in New York in 1906. Her parents were of Dutch and Scottish descent, and she had two younger siblings. Grace has always been curious. She always wanted to know what things are made out of and loved disassembling them. For example, when she was seven years old, she wanted to know how alarm clocks work. And so she dismantled seven of them before her mother even noticed. Grace studied mathematics and physics from Vassar, Vassar College. Vassar? college and earned a master's degree and a PhD from Yale University before returning to Vassar to pursue a career in academics. In 1930s, she married Vincent Foster Hopper, a professor from the New York University who gave her her surname. The couple never had children and got divorced 15 years later. As World War II shook the world, Grace Hopper felt like it was her duty to contribute. And despite her age, by then she was already 37, which was considered to be old for the military. She joined the US Navy. Due to her mathematical past, she was assigned to the Bureau of Ships Computation at Harvard, which was working on the IBM Mark I computer, which was essentially a giant calculator whose main purpose was understanding the trajectories of missiles. And it was one of the first digital computers in the world. Hopper didn't know how to program, but she picked it up pretty quickly. She was one of the first three people to program Mark I. When the war ended, Hopper resumed her research at Harvard. She soon started working on a project developing UNIVAC I, which stands for Universal Automatic Computer. Admiral Hopper believed in change and always tried to do things differently. She had a pirate flag in her office, as she called herself a pirate sometimes, and a clock that was going backwards. And one of her famous quotes is, humans are allergic to change. They love to say, we've always done it this way. I try to fight that. That's why I have a clock on my wall that runs counterclockwise. And programming at a time consisted of entering complicated numerical sequences in order to do mathematical calculations. Grace Hopper believed that the process could be simplified in order to appeal to a wider audience and to add more functionalities. And in 1952, her team developed the first complier, a program that translates human commands into computer language. But Grace Hopper didn't stop there. She led the team that developed COBOL, not only the first language that could be used across different devices, but also one of the first languages to use English words as commands. But Grace, then anyone will be able to write programs. COBOL opened up a new world. Now programmers didn't require a PhD in mathematics in order to be able to code. And also the same code could be used across different devices. And just like Grace Hopper had envisioned it, computers started being more widely used in business applications. Grace Hopper retired when she was 60, but less than a year after that, she was recalled to active duty because her help was needed in standardizing the communication between different computer languages. Hopper was supposed to stay the project for six months but she stayed in the Navy for another 19 years. When she retired at 79 years old she reached the title of a rear admiral and was the oldest serving officer at the office. But Grace couldn't sit at home at the age of 79 so she took up another job as a senior consultant at the Digital Equipment Corporation. She died at the age of 85 on January 1st, 1992, and was laid to rest at the Arlington National Cemetery with full military honors. Grace Hopper was a true visionary. She always thought outside of the box and of how things can be done differently. And this is probably why she's achieved so much in her lifetime. Admiral Hopper was passionate about programming and encouraged young people to learn how to do it. She had a great sense of humor and always knew when and how to make a joke. Now, how did you know so much about computers then? I didn't. How did it was you? The first one. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> An 
As I've already mentioned, the term debugging was popularized by Grace Hopper. When she was at Harvard working on Mark II, the computer wasn't functioning properly. And as it turned out, there was an actual moth that was stuck in the computer. And when it was removed, the machine continued working. So Grace called that debugging. Amazing Grace is truly amazing. She's a super inspirational example of how a woman can go against all odds and achieve great things. And her legacy is still with us. Grace Hopper has changed the world of programming and made it what it is right now. This woman inspires me so much with her spirit and her determination to change the world. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you're as inspired as I am. Subscribe for more videos like this and comment if you'd like to see something else or do something else or whatever. Bye. Vassar? Zoomed paired first independent computer originally gr originally Grace Hop to this is mathematical cat to do mathematical color and the reason why I have so many flowers is because it was my birthday not that long ago.